Hello everyone, welcome back to Erica Builds and another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are doing an apartment back in San Machino again, and this time uh, using the new Moschino, I think it's pronounced Moschino, <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong, um, stuff pack that just came out today. And I have to admit, I haven't, I hadn't really looked at this pack at all until I downloaded it. And so I wasn't really sure what was in it or what the swatches were or anything. So I just went over to the small apartment and I thought okay I'm just gonna take some stuff out and play around with it and just see what happens so <laughs> I didn't really have any game plan or idea other than you know I did know that the furniture was gonna be fairly modern but other than that I didn't really know anything <laughs> and so the first thing that caught my eye were those plaid couches um, which I absolutely love especially because they have red in them and red is my favorite color so I knew I wanted to use those and then I think the second thing I pulled out was um, the coffee table and the bookcase which I love as well so I, I really I really am happy. I feel like for $9.99, um, you know, this was a good this was a good deal if you like um, to have a few, you know, nice new pieces of furniture. We got a nice rug there. And I just think that bookcase is just super cool, especially for me because I really love to decorate bookcases. And so this one had already been like mostly decorated, which was nice and a nice time saver. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my first impression is that I think this pack is great. Now I haven't looked at the photography career or the cast items or anything. Basically, I just jumped right in to building this apartment. And um, I guess I just kind of, that's what I usually do. Anytime something new comes out, I don't really like to go and look at a lot of other videos or a lot of other creations that people have made because I just kind of like to, I don't know, I just kind of like to take things out and just see what happens. Um, so this is just uh, zero planning and you know whatever kind of comes to mind as I'm investigating the new items. Oh, that stack of magazines is so great. Um, I love it. It's really, really perfect for a coffee table. So that was a great addition. And yeah, I just kind of coupled this pack with a lot of stuff from City Living, obviously, because that's one of the, you know, modern packs that we have. And um, a couple of things from Vintage Glamour and uh, maybe a couple of things from the fitness stuff pack. But I tried to use as much things from the new pack as I could. So here you're getting a good look at the bookcase, that really cute um, set of bookends with like the polar bear. I think it's a polar bear, super cute. So yeah, I'm having fun just kind of taking things out and messing around with them. And then for the kitchen, I went with Spa Day cabinets because that's like my go-to modern cabinet that I always use and I um, put it together with the um, appliances from Cool Kitchen Stuff which are also very sleek and modern looking and yeah so um, red is definitely a theme that continues throughout the entire apartment especially in the bedroom which is really uh, well I'll just warn you now it's really red it's kind of obnoxious maybe it's like me I don't know <laughs> but I love red and so it would be like you know a perfect uh, apartment for me I guess um, but yeah I'm just using another one of those rugs I actually use that rug three times in the apartment because it came in so many cute swatches and then this little dining area is from it's well it's a combination the table is from fitness stuff and then the chairs are from city living and then I put a laptop there because if you watched the apartment that I did two let's see it would be two apartments back it was another small one bedroom apartment similar to this in fact it's right next door it's in this um, this is the, um, in the Fashion District, um, Chic Street, and this address is 131321 Chic Street. And then the other one that I did that was like kind of the dark 
um, professional type apartment is right next door. So one thing that I kind of learned from doing that apartment is that it would have been a better space saver to just put the dining table and the laptop together. Uh, Cause when you're dealing with these really small, small apartments, you don't really have room for a dining room and a computer desk both. Um, at least I don't because I'm not really that good with space, <laughs> with space saving. Cause I tend to make my kitchens way too big. Um, so I just kind of combined uh, the dining table and the computer together into one. Uh, then over here in the kitchen, I went with this white subway bricks for the backsplash, which I think is very urban and nice for the city. Um, and then for the decor in the kitchen, I stuck with just black and white and red um, to carry through the theme with the rest of the house. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of putting, trying to figure out where to put that trash can. Um, again, I always have trouble when I have to space save. I, I had tested out around that couch a couple of times and my Sim was having a really hard time um, maneuvering around, but well, kind of like between the couch and the end table. So I ended up having to do a little, um, um, moving around of objects. Okay, this is really funny, but see what I'm doing? I'm putting those Seasons streamers inside that wall, and I thought, oh, I'm just so smart that I put that in there, and I'm really proud of myself. And then at the end of the video, I'm like, wait, this, this wall comes with swatches that have polka dots on them already darn it. I thought I was being so smart and no, I wasn't at all. I was, I, I just hadn't gone through like every pattern to see. So yeah, that, that wall divider is very cool. Um, the glass one, that, you know, that I was just, um, <laughs> using, but, um, you don't have to put, uh, anything inside because you can actually get it in different patterns but you know i just left it like that because after i had spent the time of like getting those season streamers like perfectly and aligned in inside the divider i was like now nah, i'm just leaving it there and then in the bedroom you probably saw trying to cover up all those pipes so okay this apartment is notorious because it has a bunch of pipes on the wall that are super ugly and there's like a outline of a dead body in the living room and there's rats and there's vents in the floor and there's so many things in this apartment that are like really really difficult to work around and so i decided to use um these columns and these room dividers to sort of make like a <laughs> like a like a trick I guess to cover up all those ugly pipes in the bedroom because if you're gonna have this very stylish stylish apartment you don't want to have you know exposed pipes and they're not like the kind of pipes that are like cool you know and like you could put them in different colors or something that would be you know sort of like industrial they're like gross old leaky pipes <laughs> so i covered them up and i covered up i think both of the rat um holes as well and then the vent you probably see right there outside the bathroom um i just left it i just left it there um but yeah so for the bathroom um it's pretty small but it does have you know shower and toilet and sink you know everything that your sim will need and again keeping with the same black and white theme um i just wanted the apartment to be very modern um very colorful and and sort of fashionable maybe i mean this is the fas fashion district <laughs> so um maybe this would be a good uh, apartment for a photographer or an actress or someone who has a very bold personality who doesn't mind the fact that I used so many crazy patterns in that bedroom altogether because you've got the sort of like diagonal etching on the wallpaper with the pinstriped rug. And then I did that set of four pictures over the headboard that's like geometric shapes. I don't know, it's just this bedroom is a little bit crazy but i like it i don't know maybe that's just me and then out in the living room it's a little more tame because i use a lot of white which because i wanted to keep it really clean um so it's not quite as crazy out in the living room but yeah this bedroom is a little bit is, is a little bit uh something i don't know you'll have to let me know what you think um 
Those uh, bedside tables are from vintage glamour stuff. And then on that wall where I covered up all the pipes, I mounted a TV and I did test it and it does work even though it's, um, you know, kind of stuck on those columns. It didn't affect um, the operation of the TV at all. Um, these doors that I'm using for the bedroom and bathroom are also in the new pack, which are, these are really beautiful. There's some really gorgeous windows that came with this pack as well, which I'm excited to use. I want to do like some kind of big industrial warehouse build, like I don't know, I've, I've got to think it over. I've got to, I've got to plan that out. Um, and then instead of a dresser or a chest, I did that tall red closet from uh, Get Famous because I thought that was a nice um, piece to use since it matched. And then there you see, I'm covering up the dead body using um, that long uh, rug, which worked out pretty good. And then there by the entry, I've got a table from the Fitness Stuff Pack and uh, that Marilyn Monroe picture which is from uh, vintage glamour stuff and then the mirror that's mounted over the entry table is from get famous so lots of different packs but mainly just sticking with super modern designs in this red black and white combination oh there i am discovering <laughs> there i am discovering all the different swatches um <laughs> for that room divider that i didn't realize so yeah you know, that's just happens sometimes and it, it all worked out in the end. So anyway, this is just a short video showing you this little small apartment that I built today, you know, just kind of off the cuff um, looking at the new pack. So I hope you like it. And yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with more builds from me. You can follow me in the gallery and also on Twitter and Instagram. My username is Erica Builds. So have a great day, everyone. And I hope you enjoy the new stuff pack and I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.